jump to box. We're just using the box here, not necessarily as something to jump onto in, for height. We're using it as something that can kind of dampen the forces when we go to land. So in your programming, it should differentiate if you're gonna use your arms or if you're not gonna use your arms. So a non-counter movement jump to box without arms, we're just gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna keep them there. Um, with arms, obviously you're gonna load your hands back into that back position, jump and throw your arms at the same time. So what we're after here is just starting to introduce some sort of plyometric. So if I have a non-counter movement with my, without hands, I'm gonna go hands on hips. I'm gonna have a quarter squat. We're thinking about getting my knees to about 90 degree angles. So that, that mimics most kind of jumping angles. So I'm holding at that bottom position for one, two, three, and then I'm jumping to the box. And I'm trying to jump straight up without dipping before coming out. Now, if I have my hands, I'm gonna go hands back, one, two, three, and I'm gonna throw my hands as I go to jump. So the height's gonna vary for everybody too. If you don't have a box at home, if you're at home, excuse me, and you don't have a plyo box, you can just use like a stair. You can use, um, I've seen people use like a uh, stepping stool. There's a lot of options you can do. You can stack things on top of each other. Best option is a plyo box, or you can use that like a gym 45s. If you stack 45s on top of each other, that way you can adjust the height at a little bit more of an incremental level. But again, our focus is not bringing our knees to our chest. It's not jumping as like as high as you can, meaning to a high, high box. Your height should be differentiated on your programming, but it's gonna be with hands or without hands. Everybody's gonna have a three second pause. And when you land, you're trying to absorb the load when you land, don't try to land like super stiff and rigid.